Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to see how to reach an equilibrium using iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies. If you recall back to last time, I said that players will never use a strictly dominated strategy in equilibrium. We defined a strictly dominated strategy as a strategy that pays less regardless of what the other player does. Here, in the prisoner's dilemma, defect dominates cooperate. We can see this because it is better to defect than it is to cooperate if your opponent cooperates, and it is also better to defect than it is to cooperate if your opponent defects. Today we're going to apply that lesson to a much more complicated game. How can you solve a game with a 3x3 matrix? Well, one of the ways is to search for strictly dominated strategies. Take a look at center and right for player 2. You should notice that center strictly dominates right. 4 is greater than 3, 3 is greater than 2, and 8 is greater than negative 1. Thus, we can say that center strictly dominates right. The neat thing is that when you know this piece of information, we can convert the matrix from this to this. Basically, I'm saying we can ignore right for all intents and purposes, and treat this 3 by 2 matrix as a legitimate representation of the previous game. And you might notice that middle now dominates down for player 1, as 4 is greater than negative 1, and 3 is greater than 2. The interesting thing here is that this wasn't the case when right was still in the game. 6 is not greater than 8. But because the rules of strictly dominated strategies allow us to eliminate entire strategies from the game and rewrite matrices like this, we can say that middle dominates down and get rid of down, leaving us with this game remaining. And now we can note that center strictly dominates left for player 2, as 4 is greater than 3 and 3 is greater than 1. Which wasn't the case again just a moment ago, because 8 is definitely not greater than 9. But we can eliminate this nevertheless due to the rules of strictly dominated strategies, leaving us with this game remaining. And for our last iterated elimination, we see that middle is strictly better than up for the remaining game, so player 1 will play middle. And that gives us our unique equilibrium, middle center. I hope you've learned not to panic when you see a game as complicated as this one. Although future games will not be as easy to solve as the one in this video, you need a lot of patience to sift through all these strategies in search of those that are strictly dominated, if any are strictly dominated at all. And speaking of which, our next lesson will tell you what to do if there aren't any. See you then.